Let's start creating the survey by son with our name and our password. Throughout Lime Survey, you're going to see a lot of icons. If you don't know what one of them means, just hover it and you'll get a tooltip that explains what the purpose of the icon is. In this case, we want to create or import a new survey. So let's get a new survey and the title, I'll put my name, David's Test Survey. The description appears at the top of every page as the person is taking the survey. So you want this to be something that's fairly short and sweet. So this survey measures your attitudes towards drunk driving. The welcome message appears once and only once at the beginning of the survey. So this is a place where you can put a longer description of the survey although you don't want to give away the whole show on it. And then you can also put in things like an age minimum if there is one. You can have a statement of anonymity. Namely, there's no names associated or being stored with this survey and any risks or benefits associated with the survey. You'll also want contact information, how people can contact you. This little arrow if you will allow you to make your output a little bit fancier. For example, I can make a bulleted list, or I could have bold or italic if I wanted it. Under the day, after the person has sent in the data, the person who's taking your survey will see the end message. And here is where you can say the purpose of the survey, what you intend to do with the data. You usually don't want to tell them that in the welcome message because then they'll tend to answer the way they think you want them to answer. You can also put your contact information again and don't forget to thank the participants because they took the time to fill out their survey. They at least deserve a thank you. There is the stuff about the administrator and you can change this if you want but let's leave it the way it is for now. For creating the survey we have to go to the present and navigation tab and we want to make sure that we do allow people to save the survey and pick it up later. The format tells how we want the survey presented. Either one group of questions at a time, one question per page, or all as one huge page. Group is usually your best choice, so we'll leave it that way. Show the previous button allows the person to go back and answer questions over again. We'll keep it on for this survey. And the rest of these you may set to yes or no as you wish. We'll list the survey please so that when people go to the main Lime survey page they'll see our survey title among the possibilities. And now we're ready to create the